Oh. Gotta get my headphones, y'all. What's going on, Roundup homies? Hope you guys are doing well. Man, it's such a beautiful day. I'm so thankful to be alive. And I want to give a shout out to one of the pastors at my church. He's got to go through procedure with his daughter. Wow, oh, man, I'm just so, so thankful for our health. Good evening. Happy 4th of July week to you. Some of us may or may not celebrate it. I'm just saying. I always had like a pretty cool, a pretty cool 4th of July. My dad would come and always go and he would <clears throat> bring fireworks and stuff from Detroit. So it was cool for us. I don't even, let's just, let's take, let's not say 4th of July. Let's say financial independence week, right? Because I want all of us to be financially literate. Greetings, class. I am Chris Haskins, and my mission in ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. So tonight, I decided I'm getting, oh my Lord, so many leads have been coming in to us that are indicative of the times that I saw back in 2008, 9, and 10. So, and I wasn't prepared for this the subject to stuff, you know, this is going to be, oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Make sure you hit that like button too. Oh my Lord, I'm so excited for you. I'm excited for you because Amen. I'm excited for you because this type of stuff doesn't come around every day. How to, how to buy houses subject to, why does my camera keep going on? This is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use the other camera, y'all. Let me see. All right. Oh, well, let me get my other camera here. $4,000 camera and it doesn't want to work. What do I want me to do? What can I do? I don't know. I got to do something else. Stupid camera. Well, no, five thousand dollar camera. This shit don't want to work. What type of craziness is this? I mean, what type of insane stuff am I having to deal with? Right? That's just insane. So tonight, what I want to do is kind of show you what I'm seeing in the marketplace, and I'm announcing that I will be doing a subject to masterclass coming up this Thursday. Right now, this Thursday. Stupid thing. There we go. I'm going to be doing it this Thursday. Showing you how to buy houses without having to go to the bank. Now, subject two, subject two is going to be, man, it is, it is going to be the most used strategy for me. And I'm going to show you right on my screen right now. And I'm going to give you some goodies. Now, there's a link in the video description. I'm going to do the class for you for free. I'm going to show you all that stuff. But I still, obviously, it's 4th of July. I do have some sales. I'm not here to kind of sugarcoat everything. This business is run by sales, right? And I'm able to build a house for my wife, so she gets me out here trying to figure out how to earn extra income. So I'm doing more classes, uh, creating more opportunity, creating more value for you in the meantime, right? So we, it's a win-win. Is my internet going out? This is really not cool. I'm in trouble. Internet going out. Am I freezing, y'all? Let me know if I'm freezing. Earth Day. What do you call? Oh no, Miss Earth. Independence Day. All right, let's do that. Independence. That's that. I like that. Independence Day. Financial Independence and Independence Day. Good evening. Oh my shirt. Yeah, thank you. Well, BL. Yeah, we, I designed these myself. Uh, uh, they are for sale on my site. I've got a whole other designer working on a whole other line of clothing. Matt, man, what up, homie? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, Pace. That's my guy. Yeah, Pace. Good guy. Yeah, good guy. He talked about some of it, too. The same thing. We all know. If you've been in the business for any amount of time, you all know. 2008, 9, and 10, where you couldn't get a loan, subject to was the best way to get started. Now, I'm doing the master class this Thursday. 
It'll be at 2 o'clock because I'm going out of town after, right after that. But I've decided to stay back because I love you. I need you to understand this strategy. We're going to buy the property without using our credit. We don't have to turn in tax returns. We don't even have to turn in a bank application, not a profit and loss. None of that stuff. No inspection, no home appraisal. And I just looked at five of these over the last week. And let me show you what's coming all across my desk on a daily basis. Let me show you this. This is going to blow your mind. I love it. New deal. Da, da, da. Yeah, new deals, 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 deals. So what has happened over the last year uh, during the pandemic? The government stopped foreclosures uh, based on, uh, and they... They, they, they almost forced the banks to do forbearances, okay? That did not allow our real estate system to clean up all these bad loans. I remember going into so many houses, negotiating deals where people didn't have a lot of equity, maybe a little bit of equity. I was going to try to do a subject to deal. But since they had a forbearance, they didn't even have to do anything because the banks weren't foreclosing. So let me show you what my, yo, this is so crazy. I'm going to share my screen with you. This is what I'm seeing now that things are kind of getting, hold up. I don't want to show it to you yet. Let me rewind. First, let me rewind a little bit to show you what it used to look like. Wow, that's, rewind this for a little bit. There we go. So this is just last year. This uh, is going to be the foreclosure listings that I would get last year at the end of the year, right? Let's see the date, November, right? This is November. I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is, I, I get them every week, right? You got to get foreclosure listings so you know what properties are coming out. Let me fast forward until today. Let me just show you what's going on. Look at this. We got six just in Hampton. This is my spreadsheet that, that we get. Now, Suffolk was slipping this week. Look at this, y'all. Uh, what is this? 28 just for the week, 28 foreclosures in my area for the week. So what I'm telling you is what I know. I'm not, I'm living this. I'm not preaching theory, something I read. I can see foreclosures are picking up. Now, over the last two years, foreclosures, they, they just have not been coming out. Uh, whatever government agency has been stopping them, right? So we're, we're done with that. Thank goodness. And I, my goal is not to wish anybody hard times. My goal is to get you to get some education and help a lot of people and make some money while you're doing it and have a good time. Have a good time. Life is short. Now, I know these people here are going through some challenges, but we are here. Oh, man, I did, I'm doing one right now. The lady, I was talking to her, negotiating the subject to over the phone. Round up, she started crying because I really genuinely want to help people. If you have a heart, if you care, if you have empathy, compassion, humility, and you want to see uh, what's best for people, it is impossible for you to lose. The universe has to open up for you. So I was talking to the lady. She's like, you mean you really care about what happens to me? I'm like, yeah, I care. I want, I want the best for you. Because most investors, what are they going to do? They're going to go right for the house. Ms. Smith, tell me about the roof, central heating in there, kitchen, bath, flooring, electrical systems, plumbing. Round up homies. You cannot do this with people in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure. Now there's a video I want you to see how to negotiate with people in pre-foreclosure. Uh, that's on my channel. I'll put that in the link somewhere here too. But below, you're gonna get my subject to document packet to follow along. And I'm gonna give you for 47 bucks my full 11 audio training series, my 11 ninja negotiation, 11 audio training series took me over 15 years to master these negotiation techniques, and you're going to learn them in just a few hours, all for less than a tank of gas, right? I'm, I'm throwing that in because I have to do something to push you. I got to push you over. So let's look at, I want to show you a lead that came in. This is how my leads come in. This is going to be some training today. Oh, my Lord. So the subject to master class will be this Thursday, this Thursday at 2 o'clock. This Thursday, I want you to get ready. I'm excited for you. Uh, okay, let me show you this. Let me go ahead and share this. Let me plank out the street. Golly, you guys are going to be doing them for my deals. I can't have y'all doing that stuff. 
in the video description below, you can be able to download my subject to doc packet and get my Ninja Negotiation 11 audio training series for 47 bucks. Nothing but the price. Now, this, gonna, this will end 4th of July weekend. 4th <coughs> of July weekend only, okay? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, did I already save this? Let me look back here. I'm going to show you what leads look like to come in that are possible subject to deals. Image. Oh, here we go. I already got it here. Taught another class this weekend. So look at my screen here. What we're getting ready to see is a lead that came in. I want you to understand, right? So tonight's purpose is to kind of get you ready for the subject to a master class will be this Thursday. I'm going to show you how to buy houses without using your credit, turning in tax returns, uh, bank applications, none of that mess, right? But I kind of want to show you why I'm doing this class. I think it's so important for my people to understand these creative real estate strategies because uh, for me, the banks were not going to help me build my real estate empire. This wasn't in the cards for me. Now, any busy professionals, if you're out there, uh, you can join our channel. The link's in the video. It'll say a little join right there. That join button is just to help me bring on guests and can continue to do classes like this for you. And for full-time entrepreneurs that, that kind of uh, don't have a lot of time to hang around to get all the content, but they want to uh, get their questions answered and go, right? So the join button is for full-time professionals and entrepreneurs that kind of want to get in and out and keep moving on, right? So that join button is just going to cost you nothing but nothing but the price of a Starbucks coffee a month. All right, so let's look at this. Add to the stream. This is the type of leads that are coming in, y'all. Is this not gold? So this is what I was seeing back in 08, 08, 09, 10. So here's the, all my stuff comes in right to my answer service. And loan balance here, you see it's 180, monthly payment 1600. They're behind 40,000, right? I need to sell my house, house foreclosed. Foreclosure's coming Tuesday. I'm unaware of the situation. So this, round up homies. I'm telling y'all, I live this. I'm not here just making up mess for you. These are the leads that are coming in that we need to be able to understand how to take advantage of and not take and not as necessarily uh, harm people and not squeeze them through everything we can. We want to help them. And when you see a lead like this coming in, there is no equity here. Zero. So we go in and try to say, look, can we negotiate these back payments? Can we make payments? Can we bring the loan? See, if you got a house, let's say it's worth 200 and all you got to do is put 40000 down, sometimes you got to pay to play. That, 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 now, that's just one lead that, that came in. I can show you five or six other ones. This is the time. This is the time to understand creative, not only creative, but subject to house buying, where we get in, buy the property, subject to the existing finance, right? So I'm going to go over all this stuff this Thursday. And the information, make sure you're, matter of fact, if you're not on my email list, let me put that link in the video description too. You need to be on my email list so you know when we're going to join. Let's get to some Q&A. You know when we're going to do the class. Man, Mac, man, thank you so much for your love offering, my friend. Uh, Amen. God, I've been watching you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, my friend. I appreciate you. Oh, man, Trinidad Tobacco. Yes. What's up, BL? Thank you. Al, just finished watching Pace Morby. Yep, that's my guy, man. Dude's a monster. Matt, what's up? Good to have you. Good to have you. Shreveport, I got a client out there, George. Uh, send me a direct message. I'll hook you up with another client out there. Independence Day. B.O., after you close on a subject to deal, do you update the contact info of the seller's mortgage account with your address, email, and or phone number, or do you leave it in the seller's account contact? Man, B.O., that is a monster question. Thank you for asking that. So you can do it one of two ways. I, what I like to do is when I get a sub to deal, I like to go online and register. You can you, you got their social security number. You can put all your information on there so all the correspondents are coming to you. And you can send the power of attorney in and switch it over also. So the power of attorney allows you to do all that stuff. But yes, I want it all switched over to me, my friend. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal question. I got a lot. Miss Earth, just what I needed right now. That's right. You best to, you best to understand. I'm freezing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my internet. Internet is just going crazy. Raleigh, North Carolina, what's going on? 
Micaiah, can you purchase land subject to the same way you buy a house? Absolutely. What exit strategy do you use when you buy land subject to? Well, let me tell you, for me, have I ever done it? I've never actually done it this way, but this is what I would do because I'm doing more houses like, like this now. We buy it sub two and then either sell or finance it out or do a contract for deed or do a lease option out, right? So land, you can do that too. So once you get it, you lease option it or sell or finance it out. Yes, you want to hold on to it long term, my friend. Orlando, ready for some sub two properties. Good for you. Yes, excited. Just put the coaching session. Okay, cool. You guys sub two. All right, net. We'll go over that. Make sure you uh, you send your questionnaire, Miss Earth. If you if you do have a consultation with me, make sure you send over your questionnaire so Smitty and my team can get that to me. You're right, BL. We're going to help so many people with this service. Save their credits. You get you into a house by being a servant. You got to be a servant. You got to be a servant. The only way you're going to get this. We'll get yours now. So look, uh, if you get yourself two docs in the video description, it does come along with my uh, Ninja Negotiating 11 audio series, training series, 47 bucks. Get this stuff. It will go away. The price will go away. Now, the negotiating audio is 297 by itself. So you're saving $250 right there. But round up, I want to talk to you about IRAs. A lot of people say, well, even if I do get a subject to a deal, the rear is I got to bring it current. Round up, you got to understand how to use IRA, individual retirement accounts. You got to understand this stuff. So much. Of, I was talking to a gentleman earlier today. Nobody here is going to teach us. My mission is so strong. Wakes me up in the morning because I know this message out there that's in the ether has to come through me to you, right? How the hell else are you going to? Are you going to? Uh, I'll make, are you, yeah, the master class. Oh, this Thursday. I'm sorry. The master class will be this Thursday. This Thursday. And you can download your docs. Did I mess that up? Master class this Thursday. This Thursday, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. The information will be, uh, matter of fact, you just have to come right back here. It's free, right back here on my channel. So I set a reminder for yourself, 2 p.m. this Thursday. 2 p.m. this Thursday. And if you haven't yet, uh, what I'll do is, if you're, not, if you're not on my email list, what I'll do is I'll give you my... Let me give you a link here. You can join our email list so you don't miss it. Uh, pages and forms. And the pages. There we go. You might have to refresh your screen. But what I'll do, what I will do is put a link in the video description along with the docs, the subject to document packet, because you've got to have documents. You ain't nothing in real estate without docs. You're nothing. It's like a mechanic going to get their tools or electrician. You got to have your docs. Let me do this. What I will do is put uh, my email. You can join our email list so you can, you can get a reminder. I will send that out too. Join our email list. Reminders. Training. There we go. All right. So that. I'll put so much I keep forgetting to do. I got babies running around, kids uh, getting ready for Bush Gardens tomorrow. We went skating today. It's crazy. So I'm trying to keep it all together, Roundup. Thank you for praying for you, boy. Okay. So I was talking about IRAs, right? So I took some money out of my IRA last week. I did a deal inside of it. I'm financing somebody else with my IRA, individual. It's called a self directed Roth IRA. Round up, homies, if you do not understand the strategy, you are going to be paying not only more in taxes, but you're going to get left behind when it comes to retirement for you. And I know a lot of us are saying retirement's a long way away. Oh, I, don't get, I got to make money now. I'm not worried about retirement. Round up. Anybody got fireworks? I'm going to be, I got to drive all the way to South Carolina to get some fireworks this week. Anybody got fireworks? Please send me a DM. I got to go to South Carolina. They send me these things in the mail, the Phantom Fireworks. Anybody from South Carolina? I got to drive down there to get fireworks. So IRA money, self-directed. You can buy real estate. You can hold it. You can collect rent in it. Your self-directed Roth IRA is one of the best strategies. It's not the, the top. The top strategy is that life insurance is one, but then the little brother to that is going to be self-directed investing. 
Like remember, remember, it doesn't have to be your IRA. You can use other people's self-directed. I've converted over several other people's IRAs from traditional to self-directed, and we get that money working in real estate. So these are strategies that you have to learn. Now, if you don't understand this stuff, just go to my channel, type in how to buy real estate in the IRA or IRA investing. This stuff, it, it comes with a level of financial maturity, right? You can't just say, nah, I ain't going to do that. Like me, 15 years ago, I'm like, I don't want to do that. The only reason I was able to set up this Roth IRA stuff is because I, because I had a rich mentor, rich white guy, Lonnie Scruggs, rest his soul, came and told me, Chris, this should be illegal what we're doing right here. So I'm passing it to you, self-directed Roth IRA. You got to get one. I bump into people all the time, Chris. Thank you for introducing me to self-directed Roth IRA. You got to get one of those because you can put money in there. And I put it in. It can earn money tax-free. Tax-free, y'all. Matt, do I look through past tax, do tax listings and contact those homeowners? Yes, I do. I'm not, I don't have it down. My boy Jason has it down, but yes. Back taxes are a great way to do that. Yes, master class is this Thursday. This Thursday. I should probably do that. Put a note on there. This Thursday, sub two master class. I do that here. Subject to master class this Thursday, 2 p.m. We're just kind of giving you all the details. I'm going to go over all the docs how we find them, how we found that lead at the beginning. If you missed it, just rewind it. I went over one of our leads. But let me tell you why Sub2 is so powerful. Over the last two years, there have been, I don't want to say zero, but very few, very few foreclosures. Now, what's happening? The system is having to clean itself up. So they're coming, 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 coming up, coming up. So I'll show you one more time. Look at this. This is my screen. This is this week. This is foreclosures that came out this week, like 28. You can look right down here. Here's the date. Oops. Take that off. So Y'all can't see the date? Oh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Date's right there, June 24th. Let's go back another week. Look at this. Almost 40 of these joints. They're coming out. Every week, all right? Whole bunch. I'll go back to the 11th. They're coming, y'all. Look at that. They're coming. But this is just in my town. Greenbrier. Damn, two on Greenbrier. So this is how I know for 100% certainty. I'm not, I'm not here just blowing out hot steam or trying to predict the future or trying to say this is what's happening. This is what's going to happen. I'm not trying to do that. I'm showing you what's actually happening right now as we live this market. Over the last few years, there have been very minimum foreclosures. So now they got to clean all that stuff up. Oh, man. Hmm. Sometimes you'll see a property on here. You're like, darn, I know who lives there. It's crazy, right? I hope you don't see your property, your own your own house up on that joint. That'd be rough. That would be rough. So round up subject to master class this Thursday. This Thursday, how to buy houses subject to. And the link to get, get your docs, I'm giving you for 47 bucks my Ninja my ninja Negotiation 11 audio training series. If you invest in the documents, why not? You've got to learn the strategy. As we come to the foreclosures, it's a huge wave. It's a tidal wave will come to that. Uh, I'm going to do that wrong button creative. Subject to masterclass this Thursday. Sounds illegal. I love that. Well, who said it sounded illegal? Oh, no, that was somebody else. Da, 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 da. Get some questions in here, Roundup. Get some questions. They need our help. That's right. Then it's B. Will you discuss sell or carry back for people who have, have equity or do a case study? Hmm. No, I will not be doing sell or carry back on this Thursday. This is subject to only. Subject to only, Denise. This is, I want you to, I'm going to be doing a YouTube class. I'm going to be cranking up my classes because I just, I've been dealing with kids, man. 
I really just want to be a good dad, right? So I want you to understand subject two because you can have a hybrid of subject two with seller carryback or seller finance, right? But first, you have to understand the first layer that's going to be subject two of taking over those payments. And then you can add seller finance into it, right? Let me, let me start with sub two, though. David, how do you negotiate with the seller that wants too much of a down payment? Down payment on what? What type of down payment are you talking about? Give me a little bit more than that. Uh, Makai, what comes with my subject two? You get all the docs. If you click on that link in the video description, you'll see all the docs that comes with it. My power of attorney. I'm going to go over all this stuff Thursday at 2 o'clock. Power of attorney, seller disclosures, I purchase the sale agreement. Uh, seller disclosures and the cover yourself letter. You got to have that stuff. Kentucky has fireworks too. I don't know who's closer, South Carolina or Kentucky. That's right, uh, South Carolina. Yeah, I got to go there. Sub two rules. There you go. Look at that. This dude has a sub two deals. Hold on. Who is this? Is that you, Pace? I'm going to get you. Sub, what is that? sub two deals. What? Somebody has a sub two webs, a sub two YouTube page. I'm subscribing to you right now. What? We didn't tingle. Seven dollar coaching. Oh, I seen that dude before. What's going on? So two rules. You right, bro. That's a cool website. Red eye sounds like all credit and leverages bank has all the imaginary lot try to take it out. They'll be like, sorry, sir. <laughs> Chris, will you be going over a script to say when calling subject to owners? I will, but that's why I'm giving you when you get the sub two document packet, right? You're gonna get my ninja negotiation. All 11 audios, I think three or four of them is walking you how to talk to sellers. And if you want to know how to open it up, because you can't say, Miss Smith, we're going to buy your house subject to. You cannot say that. You can't say it. So the main thing is, how do you open that up? How do you lay it out? There are some magic words. And let me, let me remind you, after you listen to these 10 audios, you're going to have some magical skills and superpowers. Did you know that these superpowers could be used for bad? So I want to make sure that Roundup, all of us are using these superpowers for good in our communities. Okay, you got to use them for good. If you take over somebody's mortgage payments, make the payments. Make the payments. If you can't afford the payments, you can always deed them back the house. Don't run grandma and grandpa's credit into the ground. I have seen people call me. Oh my God. I've seen people call me. I've had people call me. Chris, I sold my house to a to a guy subject to I'm, I'm making I'm, I'm uh, paraphrasing. I sold my house to the guy. He stopped making payments on my property. What do I do? Roundup. You have to use this stuff for good. Okay, you have to use this stuff for good. If you do not use this stuff for good, one, you're gonna it's gonna have the the litigator um, uh, the legislation people coming after us, Congress and all those guys. They're gonna more red flags. Two, it's going to come back and bite you. You can't screw over grandma and grandpa so many times. But yeah, or, or Mrs. Miss Earth, you'll get that in the Ninja Negotiating audio, the scripts and how to talk to people. The phone call is one thing, but how do you close them? That's the man. How do you close them up? You close, I can't believe it closed two today. They're really cool. It's a lot of cash here. checks you got to get ready. You're right. Get them ready, brother. Mike, I'm a licensed realtor, not realtor. Realtor, not realtor. So round up. Let me get this question. Make sure you take a second and subscribe to your boy's channel. It is such an honor to work with you. Hit that like button for optimization purposes. Thank you so much. Have to use board contracts. Can I still do it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Matter of fact, we did a class on that. There's a you can scratch through the contract and put at the end. You can, you know, you can actually use the board contract and scratch through it and put yours at the end. But I think there's a there's a page for that. If Mike, if you send me send us an email, I can send you. There's some words you put into the board contract. I can't remember exactly what to do, but yes, you can do that. What's happening? Oh, same things happening in your market. Yep. Chad, will I be able to watch it after two? What I mean is keep the video. Yeah, the video will be up. However, the discount will end 4th of July for the uh, Ninja Negotiation audio. 
how do you receive how do you decide to do a sub to a rap book i have not even done a rap but let me tell you what i how i approach it so i've got another one that i'm working on now a married couple that wants to buy another house somewhere so sub to or rap let's change that question to sub to and a rap because if you do a rap you're still taking it subject to they still leave that loan in place you're just putting another loan on top of it you're wrapping it so if you don't understand rap notes you can just go to my channel type in rap notes it'll come right up right okay i got you i got you covered yo i got you covered so if uh somebody wants to go out there and get another loan you need to put another rap note on there so they can show that debt being covered. Let me repeat that. When you buy subject two, ain't no debt for the seller. They're gone. The debt just stays in their name and you just keep making the payments. There's no debt coverage. However, if you do a rap note and you, you create another note on top of that sub two, then they're collecting money on this note and they're paying out money on this note. So you got to have two. Only way I would do that if they need to go out and buy another house. That's it. Hey, Susan Small, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You know what What I what I strongly believe? Even if you know how to do this stuff, it's always good to be reminded from time to time, right? Earl Nightingale got that in my head. Even though you know this stuff, Chris, it's always good to be reminded from time to time. Mary, hey, what's up? You're awesome to learn so much. Mary, you are just uh, this lady. Mary, you should come on real quick and see if you can raise some money, Mary. Now, let me know if you want to come on with me. I don't mind bringing you on. You got this lady here is a monster. This lady knows what she's doing. Mary has raised a ton of money, doing a ton of deals, learning. She was doing traditional rentals. Traditional rentals. That, that hurts my mouth every time I say traditional rentals. I don't, I don't like nothing traditional. She switched over to lease options. Boom. Money starts falling out of the sky for her. So I'm so, uh, I'm so happy for you. Jay White, thank you for the sub tool. You're welcome, my friend. You're the most welcome. It is an honor to hang out with y'all. So this Thursday, sub tool masterclass, this Thursday, don't miss it. If you're not on our email list, that link is in the video description as well. You can join so you don't miss anything. I don't know if YouTube will give you a notification or not, but I'm telling y'all, man, look at this. Foreclosures, foreclosures, they're coming. They're coming. That's what you got to look forward to. This is just one week. <laughs> one week, y'all. So in the video description below, you can get my sub two document packet and you can get my Ninja Negotiating 11 audio training module for a couple bucks more, but it's going to help you negotiate. You can't go in there and talk about, I'm going to buy your house sub two, Miss Smith. Can't do that. All right. Understand, I was watching a special last night, I very rarely do, about people's retirement and this is 2013 i was on youtube 2013 frontline special about retirement so please i'm begging you set up your self-directed roth ira or 401k so you can start putting some money in there they got the irs tax code that benefits the ones who are willing to take the i don't want to call it a risk but take the chance and we bet on ourselves we bet on ourselves, y'all. BL, how do you get the insurance back in the seller's name to satisfy the lender's placed insurance after the deed has been transferred into the trust? BL, you sound like you're talking crazy. Who have you been listening to talking about a trust? Lender placed insurance, seller's name. You sound like you've been listening to somebody crazy. So, yes, uh, if they have placed had a so what let me okay let me explain to my roundup homies that may not understand so when you have a mortgage on a property right and you don't pay the insurance and it gets canceled the lender will do something called a forced placed insurance policy let's say if i borrowed a hundred thousand dollars to buy a house and i had insurance on it and it got canceled the insurance company then sends a letter to the mortgagee or the mortgage company saying Chris didn't pay his bill. We're canceling the insurance. Hence, the mortgage company will go find the most expensive insurance they can find and place it on the house. They call that forced insurance. I hope you're getting this. So forced insurance is a, is a last line of defense if you can't get insurance on a property. If you, don't, if you don't get insurance, the lender will put it on there for you. So he's saying, I want to get that off. 
because no doubt, BL, you are paying an arm and a leg for that insurance. So thank you for joining us tonight. I'll get to this in a second. So this Thursday, download my subject to document packet in the video description below so you can follow along. You will. I'm going to be for the 4th of July special. You'll get my Ninja Negotiation 11 audio training series for 47 bucks if you come in right now. I will not honor this after 4th of July. Only for my homies that are supporting me live. So what we do is I get a policy by a company name and then, and then we put the seller as an additional payee. That hopefully will satisfy your insurance. Let me tell you how I know this. What happened was I did this by an accident because I was going in. So there's two ways that we we're going to get to, we're going to get into this during my, during the master class on Thursday. Two ways to do it. House with equity, house without equity. Right? If there ain't no equity, house burns down, you ain't losing another. Right? You can do it one way. Got a bunch of equity, you might want to do it a different way. So I'm going to cover both of those and make sure that you get that BL. But if you want to get it out of the lender placed insurance, which no doubt is costing you hell of money, get a new policy, put them, the seller, at an additional payee. Right? And you should be good on that. Let me know if that works. Per Ali, Ali A, perfect training, perfect timing. Good, that's what we're here for. Land trusts are separate. Land trust docs are separate, my friend. Normalizing young millionaires, I love that. What strategy do you use to get sellers to give you principal only payments? Well, that's gonna be seller financing. And you say, look, I'm gonna pay you X amount of money over the next five years and you just shut up. You just shut up. $1,000 a month, okay. Brandon, I saw your video with Ron Grant talking about how he prefers doing raps rather than regular sub twos. Is that strategy you follow? I do not. We still do subject twos, Brandon. I'm still doing them for right now because the people that I'm dealing with, they ain't worried about going. They're they're not worried about going out and getting another loan. Right? They're just not worried about it. So if you are dealing with a seller that says, well, "I might want to get another loan next year." Then you want to make sure you deploy a wrap. Okay. That's a good point there. Oh, that Brandon. Y'all let me know where you guys at. Put your city in here. So I know what city or what state you're coming from. If you're in a big city, put that city. If you're in like a little small town, just put your state so I know what state you're at. Black Health and Wealth Show. Keep doing what you do, brother. Thank you. I'm honored. Black Health and Wealth. See if we can support you. Black Health and, Black health and Wealth. Let me take a look at your channel here, brother. Black Health and Wealth Show. Let me subscribe to you, brother. There you go. You're looking good. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man. We can't get to see. Oh, you haven't done. Oh, wow. You haven't been, haven't done a lot of stuff. I'll subscribe to you, brother. Thank you for supporting, my friend. I appreciate you. Round up the subject to a masterclass this Thursday. Make sure you, in the video description, download. Well, make sure you join our email list and download the sub two doc packet so you can follow along. And plus, you're going to get the 11 audio training, negotiation audio training. Roth 401k versus stock market. Which one is better or all of the above? Red Eye. For me, being a full-time entrepreneur, active real estate guy. I tried to do the stock market, man. It just didn't work for me. You know, I'm not saying that it won't work for other people, but when you do deals with equity, you can extract that equity and put it into the self-directed Roth IRA tax-free. Now, you can also, we I also invest in the stock market tax for free too, right? Because it's all inside of my self-directed Roth IRA. But... I do, well, I'm sorry, 401k. I don't have a 401k, I have an IRA. But we do 401ks because Phoenix, what up? In the D, Columbia. Jeffrey, can you give me some fireworks, dog? Look at this. I got my I got my coupons. I got my, uh, what is this? I got my Phantom. Y'all yeah, know the Phantom. If you've ever been on Interstate 95, 40% off. I got to hit the road Thursday. I'm going to be, matter of fact, after that, I do the class Thursday. I'm getting on the road to give me some fireworks. It'll be a short trip, right? Five hours, I'll come right back. 
Give him a stop. Toronto, holy cow, what's good, brother? Or sister, I don't know. The tall realtor, good stuff. I'm a licensed realtor. Do you have wording for realtor contracts in the packet? Also, do you use a title company or attorney? At Richmond, Virginia, what's up, my brother? So if you're a realtor, you can add the link. Send me a, a direct message or an email to Chris Bass Houses at Gmail. I've got a, I have a sub two contract somebody gave me for, my boy Vince does a lot of on-market subject twos. It's another page he puts in there. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, boy. Let's see here. We'll look at it together. The tall realtor. Let me, let me pull it up. It doesn't come in the packet, but I will look real fast to see if I can find Because my boy Vince gave me a contract. That he uses for on market. Sub two deals. Assignment, cash, proof one person. Here we go. This is what Vince uses right here for realtors. I'm giving y'all all the goods. Y'all don't even have to come to the class. That ain't fair. So this is a rain contract right here. And you see he always does he does this in the trust too. We always use the trust. I don't know what crazy man. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, Main Street Trust, and he puts down here, this is an offer to take over mortgage payments. This is not an assumption loan. He puts that right on there, remaining loan on balance. So I'm going to, Thursday, I'm going to go over a standard purchase and sale agreement, but a lot of realtors need to understand what to put on their RAIN contract or their board, cert, their board contract. So I'll bring this up again during the training. But yes, you can do that. And yes, we use an attorney to close these deals. BL, sunny San Diego. What's going on? Y'all give me a like down there. Smash that thumbs up right below down there, please. Connecticut, Covington. Appreciate the love. You're welcome, my brother. Lamont, what's the best way to do subject two to buy my first home? I live in a subject two property, North Carolina. So the way you're going to be able to do that is not only, let me tell you what are the things that I like when, when somebody has not only one, but two or three loans on the property. So if I were you looking for a home to move into, go to PropStream. Now there's a link, there's a website right there, Chris Property Data. If you do not have PropStream, you have to. I've negotiated a slight discount. Plus you get a 14 day trial, Chris Property Data. It's right there. Is that it? Chris Property Data. It's going to, hold on. So this website will give you properties that have multiple loans on it. That's a beast. So properties that we got 90 people here, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me in this crazy world we live in. Like, right there, chrispropertydata.com. If you go there, get, get prop stream, right? Then you can pull properties that have two and three mortgages on them. That's what I recommend for owner occupied because you don't necessarily have to make money on those type of subject to deals. Okay. So keep that in mind and you're welcome. Hit that thumbs up down at the bottom. Roderick, oh, my old uh, neighbor was called Roderick. What are the cons of a subject to? Well, the lender could call the loan due. That's the biggest one. The lender could say, Roderick, you bought this house. They would say that. They'll say, well, Mr. Seller, you sold this house. Now we're going to come call the entire $150,000 loan due. Now, we have ways around that, which I'm going to cover Thursday. But I just don't have time to get into all that. We'll see you Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, my friend. You're welcome, Black Health. LA in the building, San Diego, New Bern, Connecticut, and Jacksonville. Good gracious. Toronto, what's up? No, the doctor, uh, we might have done some upgrading, but you still got the links. They have changed, but you still got them. All you got to do is go back in there. You have access. If you, uh, I've, I've got the docs already. You got them already? Yeah, you, you can upload them. Then. You have the link. You can, you, can, you can just download them again. I'll see you, Lamont. I'll see you Thursday, my friend. Tamara, I ordered the subject documents. I thought it was 45. I don't know what's 45. The docs are 197, and the negotiating audio is 45. I think 47 if you want to get that. I appreciate you for supporting, Tamara. Nancy, 
uh, if you make a mortgage PAA, Odor. I don't know what that is. Tamara, 197. The subject to docs are 197. Yes, that's what the charge is for that. It's right there. It's right there before you check out. You'll see the charge on there, my friend. You'll see it. I'm not here duping nobody. I don't want to take those. 45, then 11 audio, Ninja negotiating audio is $47 if you get the negotiating docs. It's clearly right on the screen there. I appreciate your support, Tamara. Nancy, if you take over the mortgage payments, can you write off the interest payments? Absolutely. Let me know how, why I can tell you this with 100% certainty. Let me tell you how I know this with 100% certainty. The IRS audited me back in 2016. 16 or 17, I don't know, uh, yeah. I went in there and the auditor asked me, Chris, we have your return here. You have some interest that you have been writing off, but you don't own the property. How are you writing off this interest? So I had to show them proof that I own the property so I know for sure that you can write off interest as long as you own it. You better own the property and depreciate it too. You better depreciate it. I said, would you ever ongoing coaching class for a monthly fee? Yes. Um, we're going to be rolling that out very, very soon. I just, my heart won't let it, let me do but so much with my two-year-old. I really enjoyed giving him a bath and put him in a bed at nighttime. It's cool. BL, can you sell to a property with a reverse mortgage? Absolutely not. Coaching group, yes, we do have one if you're interested in that. Yeah, we can talk about that. Sorry, could I finish the sentence? Can you call pre-foreclosures in Maryland? No. I would not do that. Tara, I think you were up here. So the subject to documents are 197. I'm sorry. Wow, we, it's clearly, it's right on the page, y'all. I don't know why. Uh, can you, you, can you just use a notary or do you need a title company? I bought subject to houses on the seller's kitchen table. I bought it right on the kitchen table. You can walk in there. I wouldn't recommend you to do that, you know, but. You can, you can, yo, you do not have to have an attorney. You do not have to have a title company. None of that. You can do it with a notary. Remember, what is the definition of selling a house? The seller deeds the property over to us. That's all buying a house is. Now, all the stuff we put around it is extra, right? But when you buy a house subject to, it's nothing but getting a deed. And you can do that at the kitchen table, do that in the attorney's office, title company's office, Starbucks, all that stuff. But I want to make sure that you understand which way you should do it. Because if you got a bunch of equity, you better not be doing a kitchen table closing. Blessings to you. Thank you, James. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to have you here. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much for your support. Listen, let me get out of here. Get TT in the bed if he's not in the bed already. So listen, the video description, you can get my subject to document packet. And if you get that, you'll get the, you, you can upgrade to the 11 audio, the 11 Ninja Negotiation audio series, 11 audio series. You become a negotiated master in just a few hours. Show you how to negotiate all type of deals. Lease options, owner, seller finance, sub to buying at a discount. These are all deals that I'm live in the homes. And the other link in the video description is going to allow you to, you can join our email list so you'll get a reminder. And you get question of the day. We do questions every day. Question of the day. Yes, the babies, you're welcome. Nancy, good show. Red Heart, thank you. Purchase probate property. Absolutely, you can. All right, Roundup, it has been good talking to you. I'll see you Thursday. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. I wish nothing but success for you. Financial independence, I want you to think of this 4th of, 4th of July. Let's take some time. Get educated over the holiday. Come out. Blaze. Electrify your community. Closing these sub two deals and all type of deals, really. But, man, this time of year, I'm seeing it. I showed you all this, the foreclosures are coming. They're here. All right. Okay, see you Thursday. Peace. Hit that thumbs up.